check this thing out. So I sort of, I guess the title is a little bit clickbait. This isn't really a demo. I, uh, I'm just borrowing this thing from a neighbor. I guess it sort of is a demo. I've been wanting to try one of these Salfords for a while. A neighbor of ours, good friend, had this thing. Um, he let me borrow it for this farm that I just rented. It, uh, it's bean stubble, it's really heavy clay ground, and it wasn't worked last year, so I don't want to work it with the field cultivator. It's really dry out here. If I did that, it would just ball up and chunk up. That's not what I want. So I'm hoping this thing will soften the ground just enough that we'll be able to plant it nicely and I can still somewhat no-till it. So let's get in this thing and start running it. You're supposed to pull these things with some fairly decent speed, so I'm going 9.8 miles per hour. I guess that's probably fast enough. Might be a little too fast, but... I've done a border around the field, did a nice job. When I first started, the uh, rakes weren't really set the way I needed them. They were pitched too far forward. I'll show you when we go by, but it was bunching up all the trash and leaving it in piles. This thing's only 30 feet wide and we got a 410 horse tractor on it, so it doesn't even know it's back there. I'm running in 13th gear right now and it's not struggling at all, so it's a little bit overkill, but this is what we had available. Maybe you can kind of see over there all the piles that I had leave up. That's where I was having trouble with those uh, coil tines. Like I said, I got them angled back a little more and it's doing a lot nicer job now. So this would actually be day three of planting. If you watched our first day, let's see, today's Thursday, we started on Tuesday, and our first day did not go very well. We were having trouble with that row 15. We got that figured out yesterday. We had a bad row unit module. We got that fixed. Yesterday was kind of a disaster. I didn't do any filming because we were having a ton of trouble with the planter. I guess I shouldn't say it was a disaster. The 2020 monitor made me think it was a disaster because we would be planting and everything was working fine and then at random spots throughout the field fairly often it would just drop population we're shooting for 33 about 33,500 and it would just drop down to 25 27 28 somewhere around there and it'd stay that way for a while and then slowly come back up it finally got so bad that we just ended up stopping because we were really worried that if it was actually dropping population, that would be losing a lot of money. So we got a precision guy out this morning. We figured out we had a bad radar cable or connection somewhere. So we unplugged it. We're running strictly off of GPS and now it's working great. So come to find out the planner wasn't actually dropping population. The monitor just thought it was. So that being said, we uh, got the planter running. We finished up the field this morning. We've just got a little over 200 acres planted and it's working great now. Dad's got, dad and grandpa, I should say, have the seed tender and the starter tank moved over here. They're working on getting the planter over on this farm. I'm gonna keep working ground, try and get a little bit worked ahead of the planter. That way we can get started because there's chance of rain today, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. So we want to try and get this field done because it's pretty heavy ground and it will flood very easily and we'd like to get it done while it's dry. Well I spoke too soon. Vac motor just went out, puking oil out the vac so we are broke down again and there's a little bit of a rain shower coming. So this breakdown kind of happened at a pretty opportune time. Uh, we're kind of slowed down waiting for this rain to see what it does. Dad's running after parts. I'm gonna finish taking this thing apart and see if I can get it ready for when he gets the new motor back. It's just, there's a hydraulic motor that runs each vac and I'm guessing the seal went out around the shaft because the oil is getting into the actual fan and it's blowing oil out the fan discharge, so probably our problem.
that definitely was the problem. You can see right here, the seal is blown out of that shaft, so it was just letting oil get through that seal and into the fan. Dad's getting parts. I'm gonna go eat lunch. All right, well, we got the planter back going. It's just kind of messing around, spitting on us a little bit with rain. I wish it would either just rain or not rain because this is like, it's just enough to make things sticky and stick to the gauge wheels. Just enough to get you ticked off. We're gonna put a little bit in the planter. Everything's going decent right now. We gotta try and make up some ground because we haven't been having a very good time planting. Alright, we got the planter running finally. I got dad tucked into running it for a while. He's back there behind the dust. You can see him maybe. I'm working some ground, doing some vertical tilling. Um, I think that's what you call it. Salferding maybe. But I got a couple guests. My lovely wife and our dog Leah joined us. Hi Leah. Leah. Leah look at the camera. Aren't they cute? We're here for quality control. Yeah, she's making sure we're doing a good job. So we were thinking about doing another live stream. What do you guys think? What do you think? See what the viewers think? Yeah, see what they'd say. Well, Maria left. I think I got the right stuff on that other planner from that fly box. This one would work if it's still, I mean, if they're still good. What he said. Anyways, Maria left me. She had some work to do. She's working from home since we are uh, not allowed to leave our homes, basically. We're under a stay-at-home order due to the COVID situation, but she left Leah with me. She's just taking a little nap, so. Overall, it's going pretty good. We keep getting these little sprinkles. It's not enough to hurt anything. I'm hoping it stays that way. The Salford's working great. I ended up lowering it. I was noticing bit. today when I was folding and unfolding, I think we need to put... Like I was saying, the Salford's working great. I uh, had to lower it a little bit. I had to work on the pitch of the coil tines back there. Um, they were a little too aggressive and it was dragging up trash, but got it running deep. It's doing a really nice job. As you can see this thing's doing a pretty nice job it's just kind of sizing the residue a little bit softening up the top of the ground that way the planter doesn't have to work so hard to get the seed in the ground but overall it's doing a really good job and I like it I wish it was mine but uh, maybe someday I'll have one so I said earlier in the video this is actually a neighbor's tool um, he's offered to let us try it in the past but we never took him up on the offer and I finally had a good use for it so I thought I'd give it a try. This is actually a 2007 model. So it's uh, paint's a little faded on it, but it's in pretty good shape. It could use some new blades, but overall it's not too bad. Apparently Leah thinks she's gonna drive now. She's getting impatient with me. You see this rain cloud over my shoulder. It's just kind of slowly moving through the area. It, uh, it hasn't dropped a whole lot of rain on us yet. Just kind of sprinkling, enough to kind of irritate you. But if we don't get a whole lot of rain, we should be able to finish this farm tonight. There's 
90 acres of corn on this farm. The rest of it's gonna be beans over here. So hoping to get it done, but I guess we'll see what the weather does. Lee, are you gonna drive? Are you gonna drive now? I don't think that'll work very well. Well, it looks like it's time for Dad to fill back up with seed. The sun's kind of trying to come out. There's a pretty ominous looking storm cloud right there. Hope it goes away or goes over us. seed tender is pretty nice you can set it for uh, however many pounds you want that way you got an even amount in every box planters filled back up everything's good he needs a wiper blade for the back of his tractor so I think he's gonna send grandpa up to get one but it's going good I see the Sun the Sun's trying to come out all right Leah let's go come on you're wasting time we need to get some groundwork Nicole is on strike. I better take over. Well, I'm done working this field. Uh, I gotta go get some starter for Dad at FS. And uh, Leah, come on, come this way. Our nurse tanks out a starter, and he's got enough for about 35 acres. So I'm gonna go get some starter for him, and that way he can keep rolling. I think Leah was ready to get out of the tractor anyway. Good job, Leah. You found a rock. Got the starter. He must not need it yet because he turned around and he's going that way now. So I'm going to move on to the next field. I don't know if we'll get it planted tonight. It's already pretty late. It's still light out. The sun finally came out. It's about 7 o'clock. But I want to get it worked. We had a tile hole fixed and I need to sort of get that leveled out. Come on, Leah. And the next field is heavy clay ground, just like this one, and it's been no-till for, this would be the sixth year that it would be no-till, and it's got some water that runs across it, so it's actually got some ruts that need to be kind of tuned up a little bit, so I'm gonna hit it with that Salford, see what kind of job I can do. Well, I am guessing that the audio is not gonna be as good in this clip because I just broke the end. You can see it right here. I broke the end off my audio cable for my external mic. So now is probably a good time to end this video because I'm not gonna have very good audio for the rest of this. But we got a fair amount accomplished today. We had some breakdowns. Um, not as good of a day as we would like to have had, but we're gonna get this 90 acres done and possibly another 20. Um, I'm gonna go work that right now, but got to use the Salford, that was pretty cool. My first experience with vertical tillage. I really like the concept. I'd like to try it more and more. Um, financially, we're not in the position to be buying a tool like this right now. We're still kind of in a transition period of conventional tillage over to more no-till, vertical till, strip till type of stuff like that. And also, we just bought that planter, so we got that to pay for. Um, I would like to buy something like this in the next couple years. So it was nice to try one and see how I like it. I will probably be using this on this part of the field, which is standing corn stalks. It's gonna be planted beans. I don't wanna work it yet because there's a chance of a pretty good rain this weekend. And if I work it now and this thing floods, if we get a really big rain, it'll wash all the corn stalks up in piles. So I'd rather leave them standing for now and go out here with this a day or two before I plant. That'll be it for this video. Hopefully we can keep this planter running. Um, chance for any night, we'll see what happens. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Right, Leah? Right, Leah? She's preoccupied. <laughs>